All right, welcome to the training for Music One. I'm going to go ahead and open up the GarageBand app. So let me just find my GarageBand. There it is. And tap to open GarageBand. Now what's normally going to happen is it'll open up into whatever the last project that was being worked on is. So we need to get back to where all the songs are stored. So I'm just going to tap up here in the top left on My Songs. That'll take us back to the library of all the recordings that have been done in this GarageBand. So the first thing we need to do is start our own song. So I'm going to tap on the plus button up here in the top left. And I have two choices there, create a new song or copy from iTunes, but I want to create a new song. And then it'll open up and have all the different instruments that we can create a song with. Well, since we're going to be using loops in our song, we just need to select one of these. So I'm going to just do smart guitar. So go ahead and find smart guitar. And when you have it found, we're going to just tap on that. The interesting thing about creating a song with loops is that it's, you can create a song quite quickly and that makes it very rewarding to be able to get a song that you like to hear and everything without having to necessarily play the instruments just yet. So it's really kind of a fast and quick way to come up with a, a great song. So here we have our, our acoustic guitar and we can actually play chords on it, but this level and this uh, project is all about just being able to record a song with the loops that are part of GarageBand. So let's get into our track view. So right now we're in instrument view and we need to get in track view. And those two views are up here. So we have one that looks like a little guitar and one that looks like three lines. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment because those will look like tracks. So I'm on instrument view. I want to tap on the one with three lines to get to track view. Okay, now that we're in track view, we can start to really start to compose our song that we need to have. Now the first thing we need to decide is the math on what we need to do for the length of our song. So for this project, I want you to create a 60 second song. And we're gonna kinda of do it like a dance beat of a song, but we need it to last for 60 seconds. And what we have in here now are only eight measures or eight bars of a song, and we need to get more of them to, cause this would really only last a few seconds, we need enough to last for 60 seconds. So the math really is, is that for every bar is about 2.15 seconds. So if I take 60 seconds and I divide it by 2.15, I get 27.9. So I need to make sure we have 28 bars. So 27.9 just rounded up. So to make the length of our song, I'm gonna tap on the little plus button that's over here on the top right. It's hidden right here. So I'm gonna tap on that plus button and that's gonna open up a menu, and this is our, our song lengths. And I'm going to say section A, and I can see it's eight bars. So I'm gonna tap on that, and I'm going to increase it up to, keep tapping it until it gets to 28. All right, so you do the same thing. Just get 28 measures for our song. Let me tap outside of that. All right, so we have um, our song length is been determined, and we are ready to go and start putting our loops in it. 